New at six, a Waukesha teen spirit lives on after his death in 2019. Kyle Lamer's family is working through the legislature and the community to raise awareness about the risks of sudden cardiac arrest. Mary Jo Ola reports. It's been more than two years since Kai Lermer died suddenly from an undiagnosed heart condition. He was 16 years old and a triathlete at Waukesha North. After Kai passed, it just devastated our family and we wanted to make sure that this would not happen to another family. Kai had an undiagnosed uh, heart condition called Wolf Parkinson White and it is a uh, congenital heart disease. This is the second year Kai's family organized an event where hundreds of high school students can get an electrocardiogram, a short test that can check for different heart conditions. Last year, they did about 200. This year, they expect to more than double that. Today, we're hoping to uh, save some lives. That's the, the bottom line. At the same time, Wisconsin lawmakers are considering a bill called the Kai 11 bill that would develop information for families on sudden cardiac arrest in student athletes as well as electrocardiogram tests. State Representative Scott Allen, who wrote the bill, says it follows the line of concussion protocols. What we want to do is we want to make sure every athlete, whether they're a high school participant or if they are um, a participant in a club sport, we want to make sure every athlete is aware and parents of athletes are aware of the potential hazards. The bill, which has bipartisan support, is sitting in the Assembly's Education Committee. Kai's family and friends hope that their efforts will help students and athletes across Wisconsin and carry on Kai's caring spirit. Fly high, Kai. We love you, number 11. Miss you. Kai's mom says out of about 200 tests last year, they found one student who had the same heart condition as Kai and another with an abnormal heart screening. The American Heart Association says one study estimated about 66 athletes die from sudden cardiac arrest each year. Mary Joola, TMJ4 News.